Hi, this is Kevin Leach from Inquality. Today, I'm going to give you a quick demo as to how you can dial an ISDN line from a Comrex Access or Bricklink unit using IPDTL's automated ISDN bridging server. You need a spare IPDTL login ID for this, and in the system settings in the Comrex, you put sip.ipdtl.com, and then whatever your login ID is in the SIP username box, and then obviously add your password as well. I'm not going to show you that for obvious reasons. In IPDTL, you also need to set the login ID to uh, allow SIP connections. Now on the connections tab in the Comrex, go to store new remote and give it a name. I'm going to put Kevin ISDN. And then in the next box, it's neither an IP address or a phone number specifically. We put a string which looks like this. You'll see it begins with a star. You can see we've got the codec send settings and the codec receive settings, the sample rate, uh, number of channels, and the bit rate. Then, after a hyphen, we add the country code, which in this instance is 44, and then the number uh, dropping zero in many countries. Because there are two channels here, we then have a plus in the middle, and then the country code again, and then the second channel number, which in this instance is exactly the same. Now, it's a little bit fiddly as that, so do get in touch with us to work out exactly what your dialing string should be. If I hit OK now, that will save it into my list. And if I now select it and hit Connect, You'll see it's now connected. We have an Opus connection to and from the IPDTL ISDN bridging server, and then an ISDN connection onwards. We can see the audio connection here has uh, settled down in some stats. If I now fade up my ISDN, the Comrex has an audio loop, and you can hear the audio coming back. Coming back. Any questions? Get in touch with us at support.ipdtl.com. Thanks for watching.